It is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Friday, March the 3rd, 2017, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Lent and fish fries are being held every Friday during Lent from this Friday, March the 3rd through April the 7th at the Catholic Center here in Muleshoe. And that is located at 805 Hickory, right next door to the Macla Conception Catholic Church. During Lent, they will be serving fish with all the trimmings from 4.30 to 7 every Friday night at the Catholic Center in Millshoe. That will include fish. You have a choice of fries or baked potato coleslaw, beans, hush puppies, dessert, and your drink for $10 for adults, children 12 and under $6. Also, carryouts are available, and you can call for free delivery 272-4167, and of course, they will deliver only here in Millshoe. That's Linton Fish Fries every Friday during Lent from this Friday, March the 3rd through April the 7th, 4.30 to 7 at the Catholic Center here in Millshoe. And that is according to Kathy Dugan. The high in Millshoe on Thursday was 61 degrees. The low was 28. On Friday morning, officially, at 7 o'clock, it was 33 degrees here in Muleshoe at 1011 West 3rd, our studio of Channel 6. And now, Five Area Telephone West Plains Telecommunications brings you the weather forecast for Muleshoe, Sudan, Amherst, Earth, and our entire vicinity. But first, a message from our sponsor. <laughs> Secure your life with fast technologies available through Five Area, whether you're in Muleshoe or anywhere in the world. Security and automation services for your home, farm, or business available now through your hometown company, Five Area. Plans starting now at $20 per month. Fast Technologies offers live and recordable video surveillance. Control your door locks and garage doors, whether you're in your recliner, around the corner, or in Dallas. Lighting control and motion detection door and window sensors receive alerts through text email or phone plans again starting at twenty dollars per month call today five area 806-272-5533 or go by their website at fiveareacom they will also be happy to give you an on-site demo so stop by their offices today 302 uvalde street on the west edge of muleshoe a dsl internet connection is required that's home farm and business security and automation services available through fast technologies at five area call 806-272-5533 for more information well looking at the weather forecast for today on friday mostly sunny high near 65 degrees south winds between 15 and 20 miles per hour mostly cloudy tonight low around 37 south winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour as well so a little bit gusty conditions uh this afternoon and tonight mostly sunny on saturday beginning our weekend high around 69 degrees south southwest winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour mostly clear low around 42 Saturday night. South winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour. Mostly sunny on Sunday, even warmer, around 77 degrees. Southwest winds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Mostly clear Sunday night, low around 47. South southwest winds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Sunny on Monday, a windy day, high around 75. Southwest winds to start out between 10 and 15 miles per hour, increasing as the afternoon goes on to 15 to 20 miles per hour. Winds could gust as high is 30 miles per hour in the afternoon hours mostly clear monday night low around 33 west winds between 10 and 20 miles per hour then sunny on tuesday high around 66 mostly clear
clear. Tuesday night, low around 31. Repeating our forecast for today on Friday, mostly sunny, high around 65. South winds between 15 and 20 miles per hour, mostly cloudy. Tonight, low around 37, mostly sunny on Saturday, high around 69. South southwest winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour, then mostly clear Saturday night, low around 42. Five area telephone, West Plains Telecommunications has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast. Remember, Bailey County is under a burn ban. That means you must not start a fire anywhere in Bailey County, including the city of Milshoe. Do not ever, in any type of weather, throw a match or a cigarette out. Do not let a chain drag on the pavement behind a vehicle of any type or a trailer. Do not burn trash or burn off a field in this weather either. If you are welding, have water nearby and be extremely careful. You can use a barbecue grill outside. Do not throw the coals after you have barbecued in the trash. Use water and dirt to put the coals out and be careful always remember bailey county all of our county is under a burn ban dewani sharma a seventh grader at watson junior high the winner of the milshu independent school spelling bee will compete saturday in the regional spelling bee hosted by the lubbock avalanche journal the spelling bee in, for the region will be held at the Lubbock Memorial Civic Center. And good luck to you, Dewani Sharma, representing Milshoe. Be sure and attend the Milshoe Chamber of Commerce and Agriculture Annual Banquet this Saturday at 6.30. It is starting in the Milshoe High School Commons area. You can get your tickets at the Milshoe City Hall on Friday from Casey Coker, Chris Phillips at United Supermarket, Basil Nash, Steve Friska, Casey Morris, the manager of the chamber, Craig Black, Sarah Santos, and Scott Miller all have tickets for the banquet. The guest speaker will be outstanding. He is Clint Bruce, a U.S. Naval Academy graduate. He also played football at Navy and also is in their Hall of Fame. He's a former NFL player, Naval SEAL Team 5, and an entrepreneur. That's the Muleshoe Chamber of Commerce Annual Banquet on Saturday night at Muleshoe High School, and it starts at 6.30. Be sure that you attend. The Jenny Slippers hosted on Thursday afternoon the fourth grade at Mary D. Shazo Elementary School for the Toast of Texas to celebrate Texas Independence Day actually on the actual date that, they, uh, that we celebrate the Texas Independence from Mexico, March the 2nd. 1836 was the year and the day that Mil, uh, that uh, Texas received its independence from Mexico. And you can see online and on the air the video of the Toast of Texas. And we salute the Jenny Slippers, the ladies' division of the Chamber of Commerce, for celebrating with the fourth graders year after year after year here in Milshoe, Texas Independence Day. We'll be back with more Mule Train news and we're going to tell you about some history of Mule Shoe. Meow's the best place to get fajitas, burritos, salads, and grilled cheese. They also have the best seasoning ever. So go to Liao's Mexican Food Restaurant at 1010 West American Boulevard in Milshoe, Texas. 
the best Mexican food ever. This edition of the Meal Train News is being brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant, along with the First Bank, where First Bank is proud to announce First Bank Online, www.fbmealshoe.com. Transfer funds easily between accounts, make loan payments, view current and previous statement activity, pay bills online with bill pay, banking anytime with 24-7 access. Call or come by today, the First Bank in Mealshoe, 202 South 1st Street, 806 272 Four five one five. The First Bank is member FDIC. Tattered Tumbleweed is now closed on Mondays. They appreciate your understanding. So their new hours are Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. and Saturdays, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. Close Sundays and Mondays. See the new selection of precious baby gowns, perfect for that new bundle of joy in your life. Beautiful throws and a good selection of colors and patterns now at Tattered Tumbleweed, 1405 West American Boulevard in Muleshoot. New line at Tattered Tumbleweed from Walton Wood Farms. Check out the Dear Mom Sugar Scrubs, Recovery Bath, Hand Rescue, Hideout Formula, and for the men, the Texan Solid Cologne, Hand Rescue, Power Shower, and more. Great new selection of unique cookbooks like Campfire Treats. It's Bacon Me Crazy, One Skillet, Two Plates, and more. Fashionable cow art pieces, dishes, canisters, bowls, new welcoming doormats, wine racks, clocks, and gazing balls now at Tatter Tumbleweed. Check out these new Ariat sandals and get your noble outfitter muds for men and women in several different sizes and styles. They're restocking up on their Fredericksburg Farms inventory of gourmet salsa, glazes, barbecue sauces, jellies, and more after the holiday rush at Tatter Tumbleweed. And don't forget, they're closed now on Monday, so their new hours are Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. till 6 p.m., and Saturday, 10 a.m. till 2 p.m., closed Sundays and Mondays at Tattered Tumbleweed, 1405 West American Boulevard in Muleshoe, Texas. There will be a community blood drive on Monday, March the 13th from 3 in the afternoon to 7 in the evening at the First Baptist Church of Muleshoe in the old Fellowship Hall that's located at 220 West Avenue E. Donors will receive a great t-shirt and be entered into a drawing for a 50-inch television and a $100 gift card courtesy of the Texas Firehouse in Amarillo. Please bring a photo ID, and you must be at least 17 years of age and in good health. And there is no top age, just so you are in good health. Donors are who are 16 may donate blood with their parents' signed consent. Save time and complete your questionnaire online using the Donor Express at www.thegifttolife.org for appointment call 877-574-8800. You can find them on Facebook and also on Twitter. Blood is needed every day to see, save lives. The need is very real, the Coffee Blood Bank out of Amarillo says. There is no substitute for blood. It can only come from volunteer blood donors like you. Please support the patients on the high plains of Texas during the memorial Muleshoe Blood Drive on Monday, March the 13th from 3 until 7 and at the First Baptist Church at their old Fellowship Hall. On Friday, the Muleshoe High School will host a track meet and that will be held at Benny Douglas Football Stadium. Yesterday, on Thursday, the Watson Junior High had their track meet. 
The Tulia Baseball Tournament continues Friday and Saturday at Tulia with the Mule Shoe Mills baseball team participating. The migrant students of Mule Shoe are in Wayland Baptist University at Plainview on a tour on Friday. And also, the Lady Mills softball team is participating both Thursday, uh, Friday and Saturday in the Panhandle Softball Tournament being held at Amarillo. And on Friday, there is a Bailey County Ag Fair for the fourth graders at Mary DeShazo Elementary School. And Bailey County Electric Cooperative representatives are there to participate and many, many others. Lost, a dog named Blue. Last Saturday, the Michael Dan Lopez family was here from Fort Worth, and they lost their dog. They want very much to get him back. He is a male, a pit bull mix, adult, large size, tan and white, and has short hair. He was last seen at 17th and West American Boulevard last weekend. Call 1-817-395-3400. This is a dog named Blue, and he was lost here in Milshew last Saturday, February the 25th. He's a pit bull mix, a uh, male and he's large, tan and white, and has short hair, and last seen at 17th and West American Boulevard last weekend. Please call Michael Dan Lopez at 1-817-395-3400 if you find this dog. Don't forget, this Monday is the last day to file as a candidate for the District 2 on the Muleshoe City Council. That is being held right now by Austin Bammert, but he is going to be moving. And so we need candidates to file for District 2 on the Muleshoe City Council, and you file at Muleshoe City Hall with Zaina Carpenter, the city secretary. And the deadline is 5 o'clock on this Monday, and that's March the 6th, to file. You know, I was reading somewhere, there's a lot of things that we can give up for Lent, but have you ever thought of giving up fear? Or maybe the need to please everyone. Would you like to give up envy, impatience, a sense of entitlement, bitterness, and resentment? My dad used to say, resentment is like burning down your own house to get rid of a rat. Are you always blaming someone else or something else for something that they really didn't have anything to do with? Could you give up gossip or negativity, comparison, fear of failure, a spirit of poverty, feelings of unworthiness, doubt, self-pity, excuses, lack of counsel, pride, what about giving up worry during Lent? And wouldn't it be nice if you continued to give up those many things all of your life? Oh, wouldn't it be a perfect everywhere for everyone? March is March for Mule Shoe Meals on Wheels and Meals Across America. Mule Shoe Meals on Wheels Incorporated asks you to consider giving a donation during this month of March. All donations are kept here locally. You can call Judy Kaufman at the Bailey County Courthouse to donate one 806 
272-3647 or send yours to Mule Shoe Meals on Wheels Incorporated in care of the Bailey County Courthouse and that is 300 South 1st Street here in Mule Shoe, 79347. This is something really nice that the Susan Creedles are doing down at McDonald's in Mule Shoe. They are giving right now 25 cents with every Big Mac that is sold at McDonald's to Mule Shoe Opportunity Scholarship Trust. Now, the most scholarship fund gives to every Mule Shoe High School graduate a scholarship at graduation every May. That is a wonderful idea. Buy Mick, Big Mac now at McDonald's and Mule Shoe, and Susan Creedle, the owner, will donate 25 cents to most scholarship fund at Mule Shoe High School. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in a moment. Mule Shoe State Bank and AIM Bank are merging, bringing many exciting opportunities to the Mule Shoe, Last Buddy, and Farwell areas. AIM Bank will bring technology enhancements and increased lending capabilities while keeping all the same smiling faces you're used to in the Farwell and Mule Shoe locations. The merger is expected to be completed during the second quarter of 2017. Mule State Bank and Farwell Banking Center will join AIM Bank's 16 full-service locations in the Panhandle, South Plains, Permian Basin, and Big Country regions of Texas, combined with an ATM network of more than 750 Stripes convenience store locations in Texas, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. AIM Bank and Mule State Bank have a commitment to supporting local communities and their local customers. Mule State Bank and AIM Bank, where a handshake still means something, both member FDIC and an equal housing lender. The Mule Area Medical Center has three new nurse practitioners, Christy Lee, Leonaria, and Jana Soto, to serve you and help you feel better. You can call to make an appointment with Christy Lee or Leonaria at 806 806- Two seven two seven five four four. That's the medical clinic of Milshu, which is located inside of the Milshu Area Medical Center at seven zero eight South First Street. Jana Soto works with Dr. Bruce Purdy across the street from the hospital at the Family Medical Clinic. There are three new nurse practitioners: Christy Lee. Leo Neria and Janice Soto now working with the Mule Area Medical Center. Bywise Auto and Home is now carrying beautiful home decor pieces and offering a bridal registry service. Baby gifts also available with more on the way in the near future. They are easy to get to on the South Plains Panhandle area with four convenient locations in Mule Shoe at 106 East American Boulevard, Dimmit at 801 North Broadway, Hereford at 221 North 25 Mile Avenue, and their new location in Littlefield at 821 Hall Avenue. Bywise carries the gorgeous Casafina dishes, mud pie, small wood home designs, and they carry an excellent selection of candles including Tyler Candle Company, Capri Blue, Aspen Bay, and the Neat South Candles. Bywise carries Ashley furniture including bedroom, living room, and dining room sets. They carry electronics including TVs and appliances. Buy today retail, 90 days same as cash, or 18 months rent to own. Buy a mattress set and get a free Sierra Sleep Comfort Rest Pillow. They also have a full car lot today with over 80 vehicles in their inventory. Bring in your W-2, file your taxes at Bywise, and drive a car off the lot or get any furniture you need immediately. They finance, your job is your credit, and 100% approval guarantee at Bywise. Call today, 806-272-5612, or like them on Facebook at facebook.com backslash Bywise. Come see the beautiful new selection of home decor, clocks, candles, bridal, and baby registry items now at Bywise Auto and Home and Mule Shoe Dim at Hereford, and now in their new location in Littlefield. Last week I told you that I shared a program with the Mule Shoe Rotarians here about the beginning of Mule Shoe. 
and this isn't something I lived, so I may have some mistakes in it, but I want to share it with you. As I understand it, in 1900, there was four people who, in the census of 1900, were counted in the area which would become later Bailey County. Bailey County was not farmed until 1918, and of those four, only one was eligible to vote. There was a little community called Old Hurley, which was located about two and a half miles north of present-day Muleshoe. And the Cauldron Land Company of Kansas City, Missouri, promoted in 1907 coming to Muleshoe and buying cheap land, fertile soil, and where the water was very, very plentiful. The land was selling for 10 to $20 an acre. And in the Midwest, they were farmers paying maybe 25 to $90 an acre. And this was the first town in what would become Bailey County, Old Hurley. There is a historical marker out on the Friona Highway noting the Old Hurley area. They had at Old Hurley a livery stable, which of course was very important because everybody had horses, a hotel, a general store, an ice house, and a post office. Now, the hotel was so important because the Cauldron Land Company would bring people in on the railroad over to Bovina, where the railroad was the closest to this area, and then bring them to the hotel to stay and see this fertile, fertile soil. Also, there was an ice house, and that was so important because no one had a refrigerator. There wasn't electricity, and so they needed the ice house to carry the ice, and they were in blocks to put in your ice box. I still call the refrigerator sometimes an ice box. Then in 1908, a school was built, and it had 25 pupils in that one-room school. And also a church was built that year by the Cauldron Land Company. In 1913, when the railroad was laid, it missed Old Hurley. And efforts to establish a new Hurley on the railroad line about where CHS uh, three miles northwest of Milshew on the Clovis Highway failed. In the true pioneer spirit, the church was moved. It was of heavy oak timbers cut and sawed in Michigan. And that was in 1914 that a rumbly tractor now, I always thought it rumbled and made loud noise, and so the rumbly tractor was what it was called. I didn't know that was the brand, R-U-M-L-E-Y, tractor, just like a John Deere is today. It was brought into town to Avenue D and East 5th Street and was used as a community church Maybe a Baptist itinerant minister would come in one Sunday, a Congregationalist the next Sunday, and a Methodist the next Sunday, and so on. And also, it was used as a school. Now, I learned some of this history from the people who actually were here at the time that we moved to Milshu in 1954 from Tahoka. Now, the Wilterdings were here, and especially Lula Kistler and Mishmiz Arnold Morris, that's Barbara May Blackman's parents, and uh, Beulah Carls, she was the first postmistress of Milshu. Now, the Wilterdings and Leola Wilterding and all of the Wilterdings, they are the family of... Mrs. Robert Hooten, Maureen. 
and so we still have some traces of the early day pioneers right here in Milshu. Sue Basir is a granddaughter of also the Wilman family. The Methodists bought the building in 1920 and moved it to Avenue E and West 2nd Street. And actually, it faced West Avenue E, and that would be facing the what is now the Bailey County Jail. And this is actually the church that my mother and father and I attended when we moved to Muleshoe. I just wanted to share a little bit of that history with you, and I'll share some more at a later date. In our prayer list, please remember Dylan Noble. He is the great-grandson of Betty Noble of Muleshoe and also the great-nephew of Sandy Noble of Muleshoe. And Dylan is still in rehabilitation because he was in an accident recently and it broke his neck. He is the son of Johnny Noble, a Muleshoe High School graduate of 1992, and also the grandson of Danny Noble, uh, Brian, formerly of Muleshoe. And also remember Molly Anthony of Portales. She is the mother of Mark Anthony of Muleshoe. Shani Nichols and all of her family, Hattie Ray Lambert and Judy Lambert. Judy Lambert lives in Lubbock and so does Hattie Ray and they both are former residents of Milshoe. Judy is having problems walking because of her hip. Mrs. Johnny Rundell's family remains in our prayers and also Robin Dickerson uh, she had surgery on her knee in Plainview just recently. Beverly Turney, who has just retired this week from the position of secretary at First Baptist Church. Brenna Shipman, who had surgery this week on her knee in Lubbock. The family of Maggie Davidson. Also, Mike Hahn, who had surgery in Austin recently, and he lived here formerly for many years. Wynn Cantwell is a new resident of the Running Water Draw Care Center in Olton, and remember all of Wynn's family also in your prayers. The family of Brett Clements, a 2000 graduate of Milshoe High School, and Violet Dean, Gary Watkins, another Milshoe High School graduate. He graduated in 1985. Jackie Burris, who was 71 and lived here in Milshoe all of his life. All of the residents of the Milshoe Nursing Home, our Parkview Nursing Care Center, and also they want to thank everyone who's been so considerate of them and thanks to David and Liz Tibbs for the donation of the wonderful binoculars so they can watch the birds in their backyard. Lavinia and Lloyd Garlington, Hilma Rojas in rehab at the Alton Wa Running Water C Draw Care Center over there. <laughs> Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Liao's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train News rotating on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well. Find it free of charge on demand anytime you want to listen on our website, MuleShoeTV.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith. You can get gourmet food in a treehouse dining room in Utopia. Details in a moment on The Sound of Texas.
And the Sounds of Texas are brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe as well as in Morton. They're celebrating 77 years of rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric. They're owned by the members they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online, bcecoop.com. The board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Martin. Mark, I'll all hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. The Laurel Tree is a restaurant in the hill country village of Utopia. Laurel Waters owns it and does the cooking. When people ask me where did I learn to cook, my honest answer is from my mom. You know, she'd let me cook by her side uh, when I was a young girl, and she'd serve it at the table, and it was always met with constructive criticism. It's interesting, Laurel, but perhaps a little more sugar next time, or... You know, the chocolate chip frito cookies are interesting for sure, you know. I think she's the one that really inspired my, my love of cooking. But then on top of that, um, I did go to France, and I have the Grand Diplôme from Cordon Bleu in Paris. And then I worked in three restaurants in Provence in the south of France. The restaurant opened 12 years ago. It is gourmet dining. For dinner, I've just picked up a beautiful Alaskan halibut filet. I'm doing that um, with an artichoke and four cheese crust and a white wine sauce. And then for my meat selection, I'm doing a smoked pork chop with caramelized pears and a ginger citrus rosemary glaze. It's going to be finger licking good. (laughs) The restaurant building looks like something from France. A field of poppies blooms in the spring. I think the whole thing kind of evolved from my time when I was living in France, going to the market and cooking different dishes or or dining in what they call guest tables where you literally go into somebody's house and you have what they're serving for dinner that night. I kind of want you to feel like that that's what you've done here is come into my home and you're having what I'm serving. Last April, Laurel added a tree house and a big tree behind the restaurant building. It's one table. It's a private dining room and uh, just the most romantic magical place ever to dine. The Laurel Tree is open only on Saturdays. We do reservation only just because I don't turn over my tables. It's your table for lunch or dinner and I hate for you to come all this way and us be completely full because we really do sell out every weekend but the tree house itself you can also make a reservation for that for either lunch or for dinner, there is a, a booking fee for the treehouse. It's a $300 non-refundable booking fee. Laurel Waters of Utopia. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with The Sound of Texas.